good. A couple weeks ago, we undocked from Newport Beach and sailed to Catalina Islands for the first time. After sailing almost one and a half years, we finally checked Catalina off our sailing bucket list. Catalina Island is one of the California's Channel Islands, about 25 miles southwest to Newport Beach. In preparation of sailing to Catalina in December, I've been watching the weather reports like a hawk. There were days with wind less than 5 knots, and the others were cloudy and even raining. Luckily, we got a 5-day window sandwiched by two winter storms. We charter a boat and undocked from the beautiful Newport Beach, passing the Balboa Islands on the port side. Ferries transporting passengers' vehicles between the island and the peninsula has been running since 1919, more than 100 years ago. After 35 minutes of motoring in slow speed, we were welcomed finally by the open ocean, leaving California coast behind. We raised the sails, set the autopilot, turned on the music, let's sail. One thing I found out about sailing to Catalina in December is that the wind direction and speed can change dramatically day by day, shifting from westerly to northerly to easterly to southerly to no wind at all. Ideally, I like northerly northeasterly wind 10 to 15 knots, we could reach to Avalon on starboard pack. In reality, we got a westerly northwesterly wind, so we ended up beating all the way for four hours. Autopilot did its job. We didn't take once. Whenever there was gust, I adjusted the autopilot to sail higher a couple degrees, then went back to the previous course after the wind calmed down. The average true wind was around 10 knots with gusts up to 15 plus. The passage was great, a little bumpy from time to time, with the mainland further away and the Catalina closer and closer. We enjoyed every single minute of it. Surprisingly, we didn't see any other boats, no sailboats, no powerboats, no cargo ships when crossing the shipping channel, not even ferry. I guess December is not a high season. We averaged 6.5 knots and arrived an hour before sunset. At the entry of Avalon Harbor, we radio contacted the Harbor Patrol and got mooring board assigned. I'll do a separate video covering all the details how to moor in Avalon. Now is the perfect time to find our mooring board, tie up the boat, bow on the stern, relax, and go on the shore. Christmas lights lit up in Avalon's waterfront. 6 o'clock in the evening, streets are pretty quiet with few people. That's the end of our first day in Catalina. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the future videos.